Can you draw a contrast between AI, Gen AI, and automation? You touched upon that briefly, because automation is really happening, re you folks do a lot of, and automation is also very, very critical in you know, modern world. So, so if you can talk about that, when we talk about Gen AI, we are not dismissing automation, that's importance is there, which is real. If you think about automation of data services, you have to you know, ask yourself, what, what exactly is the scope? If you're, example, integrating, um, existing automation backends such as Amazon RDS, well, the depth of, of the integration from the code complexity standpoint is, is fair. It's not zero, but it's fair. It's basically building a complex adapter with a lot of configurability as these services are already fairly complex. If you think about on-demand provisioning dedicated service instances, however, that's a complex domain problem. So it's a distributed system if you want to test, for example, a clustered service instance such as Postgres with a cluster manager, it's a relatively complicated thing to do. And you would see that even commercial products not often cover edge cases in, you know, in those cluster managers 100%. So I think generative AI can only go so far as, as these problems have been described by humans already. And not talking about the problem that the more generative or generated source code there is out there, that there's a feedback loop, a negative, a negative feedback loop into you know, feeding those, those large language models with content they've already produced, which narrows down the, variety, the vari variability of output they produce. So I would say, as it is right now, they are not capable of, of, of solving very complicated domain problems in the space of automation. However, I'm pretty sure that more and more use cases will become easier to implement due to the use of, of those things. Because it's not, not every use case of automation is, is particularly hard. There are a lot of things that you just have to write down properly. And I think there's some, there's some room for, for improvement and making automation cheaper. But as a CEO of a company, I, I do not conclude that I have to lay off 20% of my, of my engineers. And you, you see a lot of layoffs, and I'd say some of them is, is also following the prediction that AI will make those jobs obsolete. Maybe that's necessary to, get, you know, to, to, to keep stock prices up, but whether this will really manifest that fast, well, we'll see.